Hey guys, my name is Jon Håkesson, also known as Hackers in Game, and uh, I'm a master brick. I'm gonna be talking about the top five tips for me that I do a lot in game. For my first tip, it is aggressive positioning. In general, the Wraith player for the team is known as the MQ Fagger. So when you're playing Wraith, you're trying to look for those picks, which in general means that you need to be a lot further ahead than your teammates. So you gotta position yourself a little bit more aggressively in order to get those picks to go. Ooh. This is a tough rotation. Now look at this. Ooh. Dude, is that going to be a stick? Hockey's with the wherewithal to get the stick. That's going to be a perfect way. That's going to be on Nesty too. That's a god squad. Since Wraith Toolkit allows you to have more of an escape route in case you get caught out. So by having that Wraith queue to face away if you get in trouble, it allows you to play more aggressive, look for more opportunities and get more entries. Great start for Hockey. He's going to try and go for one more, but a brilliant play from Hockey so far. Woo! This man cannot be stopped. My second tip as a Wraith player in competitive gate picks is going to be scouting. So since you also have that escape, you can basically run around a little bit more on the map without being in as much danger as teammates. But with now, Hackish is going to put a portal down and maybe try and just get some different angles for his team as we're going to see Guild trying to push in as well. The bubble is down for Guild and look at this, a wonderful play from Hackish, recognizing wow. that he can take the angles that nobody else can. So it's very important that when you're playing Wraith that you're gathering all that information and relaying it back to your teammates so that they know what's going on since you're the front man of the team. So very important. It has to do with positioning as well, but it's a different type of positioning. You're not looking for entries. You're more looking for information. What a play that has come in from Hackett so far, and they call him the Kidnap King, and maybe he's going to go for a kidnap himself. He's going to actually capture two, I think. And now Hackett is going to be doing what he does best. Hackett once again with a monstrous kidnap play. And then for my third tip, which is kidnapping, I'm sort of known as the king of kidnaps. And it basically means that you put a one way portal and then you force the enemy to take it. So in a competitive setting, it's very nice in order when you kind of you're camping a building and there's a team next to you in the other building, you kind of place a portal in the ceiling and then you run into your building, you force the enemy to take that TP and then they end up in your building and they're basically a free kill, free loot and three points. To a two man team, Kishira trying to move in and here comes Hackies again and he gets another kidnap! He is stealing souls in this game! Hackies' kidnapping has been unbelievable today in this tournament. When you're setting up a kidnap, the most important thing is making it one way. So you set the kidnap in a place where the enemy can't take it back from its original spot. Because if you make it so they can take it back from the original spot, then it's like they just walk into it, right? And they save themselves. Uh, but if you drop from a building or something like this, that means that when they take the TP, they will just straight up fall to the ground and they just get the stun animation and when they're stunned from falling that's when you kill them and they are basically a free kill so for my fourth tip it's a little bit more advanced it's known as animation cancelling it basically means that when you make a portal you can pull out your gun immediately so instead of having to do the animation of taking out your hands and then taking out your gun it's immediately so you can use it to get a little bit of a surprise entry since you're also known as the entry fragger like I talked about earlier. It's a good way to get a pick uh, on someone that is not suspecting it. So when you do the animation cancel, you're basically placing the TP from cover to play aggressively and get an entry, right? Uh, most important thing when you're trying to do the animation cancel and you want to try and kill someone is that you have to have the item or the gun out that you want to use when you pull out. So if I want to pull out my R9, then I have to have my R9 in my hand when I place the TP. If I want to have my PK, pull, up, pull my PK out, then I have to have my PK in my hand. And if I want to have my Arc Star, then I have to have the Arc Star. So I'm going to have my R9 out, and then I'm going to make my TP. And I'm going to run at the enemy. Usually run cover as much as possible. And then once you hit 40% on the TP, around 40%, doesn't, it's depending on the situation a lot, but... Around 40% is where you want to use your Q so that you can come out of the invisibility and then get that one clip, the surprise one clip. So I'm going to Q at 40% and then I'm going to run at my enemy. I'm essentially going to slide into it and then pop my gun immediately and get an entry. And then for my fifth tip on Wraith, a little bit even more advanced. It's also known as super gliding. Super gliding is a movement tech. But on Wraith, you can utilize it in many different ways since you have the portal that you can cancel 
so that you get the instant speed boost but then you also have the Q which gives you a very big speed boost so you can do a lot of skip routes you can easily get away and I think it's something that if you're a top level competitive player then you should probably learn it because specifically on Wraith it's very useful. So when you super glide, uh, super gliding is basically a movement tech that when you climb something you can do a, uh, a jump and a crouch input which basically gives you a speed boost. So what that does is it allows you to basically just move around the map faster and also jump to places where you can't jump normally. Like you can only get there with the speed boost. And what's good about that with Wraith is that the movement speed stacks. So the movement speed from the super glide you can stack with your portal and also with your Q. So as you can see here, if I jump normally, then this is how far I'll reach if I jump the street. But if I use my TP, This is how far I get if I use my portal. So it's a very different in how like how far you go in terms of speed, which is why I find it so useful on Brave. Commit to anything. They said their meds are pretty low. As it's gonna be Alliance who do have to commit to something, and it's Gambit. They're on the receiving end of it as well. Haki's going big with the Eva Wraith. So these are my top five tips to master Wraith, and I'll see you guys in game.